I saw Ada Wright knocked down a dozen times in succession. A tall man with a silk hat fought to protect her as she lay on the ground. But a group of policemen thrust him away, seized her again and hurled her into the crowd and felled her again as she turned. Two girls with linked arms were being dragged about by two uniformed policemen. One of a group of officers in plain clothes ran up and kicked one of the girls, whilst the others just laughed and jeered at her. Again and again, I saw small deputations struggling through the crowd with their little purple bannerets. Asquith has vetoed our bill. The police snatched the flags, tore them to shreds and smashed the sticks, struck the women with fists and knees, knocked them down. Some even kicked them, then dragged them up, carried them a few paces, then flung them into the crowd of sightseers. For six hours, this continued. From time to time, we returned to Caxton Hall, where doctors and nurses were attending to women who had been hurt. We saw women go out and return exhausted, with black eyes, bleeding noses, bruises, sprains and dislocations. The cry went round, be careful, they're dragging women down the side streets. We knew this always meant greater ill usage. I saw Cecilia Haig go out with the rest. A tall, strongly built, reserved woman, comfortably situated, who in ordinary circumstances might have gone through life without ever receiving an insult, much less a blow. She was assaulted with violence and indecency and died in December 1911 after a painful illness arising from her injuries. Henria Williams, already suffering from a weak heart, did not recover from the treatment she received that night in the square and died on the 1st of January. HN Brailsford and Dr. Jesse Murray collected evidence from witnesses and sufferers who testified to deliberate acts of cruelty, such as twisting and wrenching of arms, wrists and thumbs, gripping the throat and forcing the head back, striking the face with fists, sticks, helmets, throwing women down and kicking them. The Conciliation Committee requested a government inquiry into the conduct of the police, but Churchill refused. <laughs>